All right, so I wanted to work a little bit on the cosine addition and subtraction formulas. I thought one easy way to do it might be to simplify a problem that used both rules. So that's what I think I'm going to try here right now. So let's take a look at this. So we're asked to simplify cosine of x plus y plus cosine of x minus y over sine x cosine y. Um, I want to remind you that Einstein said, don't worry about your troubles in mathematics. Mine are far greater. He wasn't bragging. He was saying that math is difficult. So it is, and, but we can definitely, definitely do this. So let's try to work this out. I'm going to use, attack this part right here, if you don't mind. And this resembles this rule up here. So this is the rule I'm going to be applying. So let's just look at this thing by part. So the first one comes out, cosine x cosine y. It's a positive here, positive here, so this means negative here. So we're going to separate that with a negative sign. And then we have sine x, sine y, right? Okay. This plus sign right here is this one. And now, if you don't mind, I'm going to work on the sep uh, <laughs> second part of this. Wow. Okay, so here we go. I'm, going to lo I'm looking at this, and here's this negative sign here. So I know I'm looking at this rule right here. So this is what I'm going to plug this into here. This is just fit, uh, fill in the blanks. So it's going to be cosine x, cosine y. It's negative, so it means positive in the formulas, doesn't it? Sine x, sine y. And remember that we had that whole thing over this, right? So there's our sine x, cosine y. All right? From here, we're going to gather like terms, so gather like terms. And what do we have here? We have, we have a negative one of these, and we have a positive, exactly the same piece. So that goes to zero. These things cross out, don't they? And then we have one cosine x, cosine y here, and another one here. So that's two of them. So we have two cosine x's, cosine y's. I know I'm pluralizing that, and it's not really pluralized, but just go along with me if you don't mind sine x cosine y so we're almost done I think so let's go here I see cosine y over cosine y these are factors so they can be right so they can be canceled so these factors cancel that leaves us this doesn't it I'm gonna pull this 2 back here I guess so I can see it more clearly too and cosine x over sine x is cotan x isn't it so cotan x is our final solution, I think. Look, I hope this is really helpful. I think the key is to memorize the formula and then to look for places to plug that formula in. This is very, very doable. A lot of people avoid this because they think it's really difficult, but I know that you can do this, so please hang in there. If you haven't already subscribed, please do, and your comments are welcome as usual.